Oh shit. Here we go again. What's up guys? Welcome back to 2D1C. I'm Reese. I'm Mara. I'm Rob. And I'll be taking the wheel today. We're going to be playing Shovel Knight. Shovel of Hope. I'm not sure where the subtitle comes from though because on PlayStation I just played it as Shovel Knight. I did have a theme too. I never knew there was a sub. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Well, I mean this does have a, a couple of features that the uh the my version player. doesn't have. Yeah, you get to select characters uh, right from the start instead of uh having to unlock them. I, was, I had really so much to drink already that I can't talk and type at the same time. You're gonna go with crop? Yeah, may as well. Alright, I was we'll gonna say see. it's calm, yes man. Yes man would've been nice. Why didn't you speak up? Because you were talking about your PS4, and I was intrigued. Wow, you actually didn't want to interrupt me for once. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so I love the graphics in this game, man. This game is very... It's so... They did retro so well. Uh, it's a great style. Yeah. And it's very, very, very classic Mega Man. Yeah, it really, really is. Like, the graphics, I mean, you know, the, the, the scrolling, the... You know, you got the Castlevania castle in the background. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, you could just keep shoveling them. It doesn't really do anything. I thought maybe you'd get a trophy if you just kept it up in the air for a long time, but that doesn't That's happen not. either. Yeah. Although, I will say that the music definitely reminds me of Stop Pilgrim. I can see it. It's such a great game that no one will ever play again. Unless you actually yeah, download it already, but still. It's one of those things. I used to think about that when I, uh, when PlayStation 3 was dying out, like, What's gonna happen when I have this game that I bought that I love, and maybe I had to delete the DLC for it to make room for something else? What happens when the network goes down? What happens when, you know, that game is no longer supported due to licensing or whatever, and you want to bust that game open like 10 years from now, 20 years down the line, and you can't play the whole thing because it wasn't all included on the disc? I mean, I guess, like, that, that kind of shit would suck, like... That's why I refused to up update um, Grand Theft Auto 4. Right. Because they got rid of one radio station due to licensing and everything. Right. But, like, my biggest fear is what's going to happen the day, of, you know, the next day where they decide the DLC, the episodes of River the City decide, you know, to go away. It could happen. I'm not going to have it. Like, because I yeah, know it'll they just did. be unavailable. I mean, you know. I know least... they did the physical copy. Right. You know, you would get Grand Theft Auto 4, Ballad of Gay Tony, and, um, what is it, Lost and Damned. But, like, my thing was, like, you have to own the physical copy of that. I have DLC, so what happens when Microsoft decides, you know, fuck it, let's take it oh, off the... That's important to anymore. Exactly. That's my biggest fear with the PS4, we'll too, the just because I have, um, I have Silent Hills. Right. That's, man, you know? And I I've actually that. heard that... Konami actually is going back to Silent Hills. Yeah. yeah so did you we'll see that from see. the video that I that I uh, saved? Uh, no, I actually because I saved one to the channel. I didn't know that I was did still you? logged into our account when I was browsing through YouTube, and I I clicked watch later oh, for what, a video that talked about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was watching the same I thing. Had, uh, I was watching it too. I was actually watching. Um, I was very pleased to see that. I mean, they talked about some other pretty interesting things, but you know that was the headline, so I was like, oh, yeah, Deadly right. Premonition too. I know nobody nobody else here has a relationship with that game, but that I is hate one. That game, I, dude. I love it. So but it's crazy because it's one of the most critically polarized games. It's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the most critically polarized game. People hate it and love it. Some people hate it and love it at the same time, but most people either hate it or love it. So it, my thing no was between. there was so much for that going for that game, and then they decided to poop all over it's it. It's just with that so stupid connect. It's weird. I mean, I never played it on. Well, I played it on 360, but I never played it with like Connect. I so played it. That's what I heard. I as a budget heard. twenty dollar game, brand new from Best Buy. Best Buy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who buys games there? So how did you play without a Connect? I thought that was because, a selling point for that game. No, I. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that we could play it with a Connect. I bought it for twenty bucks, and I was like, "What is this?" Like from the cover art, it looked like a budget horror film. So, and even the name sounds like it would be on Lifetime. Deadly Premonition. So I was like, "What's the worst thing to happen?" I mean, I'm a horror fan. I'll take it home if I don't like it. It was only twenty dollars. 
took it home. Immediately, the graphics were poor. They were terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna start with that. I mean, I was gonna start by praising it, but I'm just gonna let you know, like, I'm not just in favor of it all the way, but it has its charm. Now, the music is good. The characters are very quirky. And if you're a fan of the television show Twin Peaks, then automatically you'll understand it. And Twin Peaks was equally as weird as that game. If not, the game is probably weirder. But the way that it was set up, small town, a girl died, who did it? A big time FBI agent comes in, the people who work there as sheriff don't like it because they're like, oh, you think we can't handle it? But it's bigger than any of them realize. And it just gets crazier and crazier and crazier. And I could go on, but I'm not going to. So you either hate it, you love it. Uh, or never heard of it. Or never oh, heard of it. There's that too. That's, that's, although like it kind of reminds you of like heavy rain though. See, I never got a I never got like, the opportunity to beat that game. I wanted to. I never got a chance to play it, but I've like watched a lot of gameplay for it, and man, that game seemed like it was. That was its made time by what was it the developer? Was. I don't remember, man. They're a Sony developer, correct? Uh, Yes, because they made they made Indigo Prophecy before Heavy Rain, and then after Heavy Rain, they made Beyond Two Souls, I believe. Was was that them? I don't know, dude. I think I it's that awkward silence of I used to, looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> fuck? I used to keep up with it very well, but now I'm just not sure. Well, anyway. I mean, it's kind of the same thing that because like for horror games with me, like I found Fatal Frame by random. I went to EB Games back when they were still around. And, um, I don't remember what the hell, like, I was just looking at games, huh. and I found that game so, you know, chilling on the shelf, and I was like, oh, what, I wonder what this game is. And I just picked it up. I harassed him just now. Yeah, you did. Was... <laughs> I was like, I felt like I was chasing him. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I know the feeling. I actually missed the magic of that, not to cut you off, just going to GameStop before understanding the knowledge, the limit of the library for PS2 games or PS3 okay. games and going there and being surprised by what you see on the shelf. Like you for me, that was near. So, Heavy Rain's developed by Quantic Dream. Quantic Dream, yeah. They did uh, Beyond, Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls and uh, Detroit Become Human. Right. Okay. Who the fuck was that and why that person was fine? That was Shield Knight. The long lost love of Shovel Knight. And you oh. probably would have known that if you watched the beginning cutscene, which, which I'm not. Again. I may or may not have skipped it my first time through. I just wanted to get to some eight bit side scroll in action. That's what I did. So I you know, uh, he basically well, who, he's on a quest to save her. First? Um, honestly, I want to say I'm going with King Knight, but we'll save that for the next video. Well, guys, if you guys liked what you saw, you know what you guys know what to do. I'm Mare. I'm Reese. I'm Rob. And this, this is Two B One C. Hey, are you tired of watching people make money off of playing video games on YouTube? Well, that's what we're trying to do. If you like what you saw here today, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share it with your fucking friends, and also do me a favor and smash that sexy bell button so that way you guys never miss out.